Mind control might just be the ultimate spy technique. Will it ever be possible to read the thoughts and feelings of another human being? Maybe even put ideas into their head. Science is finding a way. At the height of the Cold War, both sides sought to perfect mind control or brainwashing techniques. Could magnetic brain therapies and brain mapping be used to control people by tampering with their emotions or memory? Well, it's a powerful new tool that, just like uh, nuclear uh, reactions, can be either used to harness energy um, or misused uh, for atomic bombs. Uh, and with the ability to go in and push and pull brain regions, you can use that in therapy, which is what we're doing here, or potentially use it for uh, mis-encoding of information or other things like that. Um, so just like any tool that our society has, it's really up to us as a society to make sure that it's used properly. Microwaves and other radio frequencies are known to affect the human body. But could they be responsible for hearing voices, too? In Chicago, Illinois, a world authority on microwave hearing shows how it could work. I'm hearing a microwave pulse like a click. Now it sounds like a, a chirp with a tonal quality to it. Professor James Lin is hearing sounds that aren't there, but he's not crazy. Pulses of microwave energy are being generated and fired at him from behind. Microwaves can be heard depending on the individual, uh, depending on the hearing acu acuity of the individual. Individuals with uh, fairly normal hearing can hear microwaves at a quite a low level. The energy of the absorbed microwaves causes brain tissue to very slightly heat up and expand, causing a pressure wave to be picked up by the hearing mechanism in the inner ear. Professor Lin is far from hearing voices, but it could be possible to send coded signals to an agent this way. Brain is an electrical organ. Uh, it is uh, susceptible to electrical signals. Since a microwave is electrical, therefore, in principle, one could uh, embed or encode information in the microwave signal such that it could be perceived by the brain. It may be some time before we can control someone's thoughts. But we could influence them, perhaps sending secret instructions from a distance. Instead of breaking into a secure installation, the ultimate spy could control someone on the inside and have their dirty work done for them. But why stop with individuals? If the ultimate goal of the ultimate spy is ultimate power, could whole populations be controlled? The answer is frightening. Before and during World War II, leaders manipulated the public opinion with a potent new info weapon, propaganda. By controlling what people believed, ministries of information on both sides convinced millions to fight for their country and to die for it. Even today, governments present information precisely to control the mood and morale of civilian populations. But they've also been seeking more direct means. Steve Bratcher used to be part of the U.S. intelligence community. The CIA's MK Ultra Mind Control program focused on electronic means of controlling people as well as the use of experimental drugs. Steve Bratcher believes these tools are in use today. They would want to do that to manipulate, for example, politics, behavior, uh, getting their way, so to speak, uh, uh, getting people to think a certain way, act, believe, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a large populace, just a, a strategic location of populace to manipulate the others, to create the belief. If mind control on a massive scale was to be used, it could make stealing secrets obsolete. Why spy on a population that's already doing your bidding? 
Could it really happen? How would you know it hasn't? Choose your weapon. Secret agent or private eye. Science is making it easier to be a spy. Discover your target's secrets with a lock of hair. Watch them from the air or via the global information network. Steal their secrets from right under their noses. We may be able to reach into the minds of your targets. Entire populations. But be careful how you do it. Spies abound. And spies like you might already know your not-so-secret plan.